Where's everyone? Well, Tabitha went off on some strange errand with her doll, and Jessica's doing some time over at the B&B, and Kay and... But you know what? I, I just wanted to spend some time alone with you. Ooh. Well, uh, what'd you have in mind? Mm, well, I wanted to give you... Mm -hmm. This. <laughs> hey, it's not Christmas. It's, <laughs> it's not my birthday. <laughs> well, Come on, just open it. Autographed by Jim Rice and Fred Lynn. Oh, wow. This is great. How did you... How did you get... Between me and my little internet auction sources. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah? You're incredible. Oh, baby. Oh. You're incredible. Mm. 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 You know, we've just been through so much lately. I want you to know how much I love you. You are my husband. And you will always be the only man for me. Well, we'll have to see about that, Grace. Mother, are you are you certain that you want to go through with this wedding? I have never been so absolutely certain of anything in my entire life. <laughs> and if Julian tries to back out, he's a dead man. And he knows it. I warned you this wedding would be a tad unorthodox. Perhaps that's the wrong word, but the point is I called every clergyman and judge for miles around and not one of them was available to marry you on such short notice, except the rabbi here. But Rebecca and I aren't Jewish. <laughs> no offense, Julian, but that's the least of your worries. Shake hands with him, damn it. Rabbi. Mazel tov. And where in the hell is Teresa? If she doesn't sign these in all my papers, you'll be a bigamist. It'll be worse than that if I don't marry Rebecca. She's threatened to go to the police so she could shoot me. Then again, if Ethan finds out that I had my way with Teresa in Bermuda even as her husband, Rebecca won't have a chance to shoot me because Ethan will kill me first. Ethan, are you okay? I felt better. You know, I can't find one local judge who's got the guts to stand up to Julian's travesty of a wedding to Rebecca. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. I just picked up more medication for your mother. She's relying on these pain pills more and more, and under the circumstances, I don't blame her. Have you seen Teresa? Um, actually, she's upstairs with my mother. But Ivy despises her, but she still blames her for Julian finding out that you weren't his son. I know. And that's why I've left the two of them alone, to work things out. You know, I have a feeling the next time we see them, they're going to be the best of friends. The whole world is going to know what I know, that you are nothing but a, a lying, money-grubbing tramp, Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. I won't let you tell. I won't let you destroy my future with Ethan. Your future? As if I could do any more harm than you already have. I am not the one who married Julian and lied to Ethan about it. It was a mistake. Julian got me drunk. I didn't even know it happened until the next day. No, 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 that won't wash. Teresa, no, not with me, not with Ethan, not with anyone. You, you can pull out all the phone wires you want. You can vandalize my wheelchair, but you will not stop me from telling Ethan the truth. Oh no, no, it is over, dearie. Oh, you are not going to marry Ethan any more than Julian is going to marry Rebecca. I may be stuck in this wheelchair, but I will have my revenge. It's not working. Everyone told me that Tom was going to make it hurt less. It's not true. 
Even before I go, it's a constant reminder of you. The fact that I'll never see you again. Hey, Diana, wait. I can't. I've got to go back to my room and see. Oh, what? what? Where's the fire? Diana thinks there was a photograph in a room that wasn't there before. I, I think I saw a photo of me with the man that I love, the one I keep having memories of. I've got to go back to my room and take a look. If it's there, you mean? It is. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Okay, I hate to be a stickler for reality here, but how would a photograph like that get inside your room? I don't know. All I know is that I saw it, and I've got to see it again. Uh, I've been known to see a few things myself that weren't there. No, I, I, I swear there was a framed photo on this nightstand. I can see it in my mind's eye. But I wasn't paying much attention, but I think it was a picture of me and the man that loved me. Look, it's no wonder. I mean, you want to remember your old life so badly that your mind's playing tricks on you. That's all. That's all. You ready for dinner now? A good meal will do you wonders, come on. Maybe even help you remember more about your past. Maybe. Come on, it's getting cold. Poor thing. Not her fault Brian's crazy about her. She certainly didn't ask to have her past erased either. Hey there, number nine. Actually, it's... It, it, oh, please, you're wasting your time if you expect for me to remember your name. I'll only forget if you tell me again. Okay. I thought I heard a voice. Well, yeah, you did. Um, a friend of mine and a woman from number six. Why? Well, the woman's voice. I only heard a word or two, but there was something about it, and I could have sworn that... that it was my fiancé's voice, and... Yeah, I, I know that's impossible, but... Hey, is that a picture of her? Can I see it? I bet she's beautiful. I always thought the cranes were wasps. We'd better switch gears. Princess has really done it to me this time. How is he going to perform a Jewish wedding when he's never been to one? Hell, is it band playing? Sorry, Rabbi, I didn't recognize the tune. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Holding up Rebecca. Yeah, she probably wants to make a dramatic entrance. Well, as long as it doesn't extend to a bullet in your head. Did you ask the band to play this? No. Certainly not. And as much as I love the musical, I really don't think this is the time for show tunes. Go. Oh, what difference does it make? As long as I become Mrs. Julian Crane. Ah. Oh. Because once I've accomplished that, all of our dreams will come true. Yeah, you keep saying that. Because it's true. I will have Julian so wrapped around my little finger that you will have Ethan back in no time. But this wedding is key. And if anything gets in its way, Julian is going to pay with his life. 
You don't understand. I love Ethan, and I would never do anything to hurt him. Except marry the man who raised him. You are nothing but a liar and a whore, Teresa. Thank God Ethan didn't marry you before, and he never will now. I won't let you stop me. Julian is annulling our marriage, and by the time you see Ethan, he and I will already have eloped, and, and nothing you say will ever make him leave me. Oh, you are dreaming, Teresa. You have met your match in me. I don't care. I love Ethan, and I won't lose him. He and I will be husband and wife tonight. Teresa, don't you dare go after Ethan! Oh, damn you, Teresa. You will not get away with this. So what would you think about us going away for a couple days? Just the two of us. We could go tonight. I like the way you think. Oh, I was hoping you would say that. You know, I might be legally married to David, but in my heart, I am your wife. I always will be. Where did you make reservations? The lodge where we went on our second honeymoon. Grace, it's That's where... That's where Ivy followed you and tried to seduce you, I know. I just, I think... I kind of want to go there to put her and all her machinations behind us. All right. We'll make this trip a farewell to all our demons getaway. Perfect. Mr. Hastings? Jessica. What are you doing? What did I say? It's not you. It's my fiance. She died. Oh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> I am so no, sorry. No, no, it's okay. You didn't know. No, but... You know, from the moment you walked into my place, I could sense that there was more going on than just your sailing the boat back to the States. You know, they tell me I'm a pretty good listener if you feel like talking about it. Um, and if not, nobody understands a person needing their privacy more than I do. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, here are some fresh towels for you. Thank you. It was an accident. One minute we, uh, we were laughing and making plans for the future and, and then she was gone. I wanted to protect her, but I couldn't. I never even got the chance to say goodbye. And you took this job so you could try and get her off your mind? <laughs> well, only it hasn't worked. You know, everything I see and every voice I hear reminds me of her. And every time you realize that it's not her, it's like, your heart breaking all over again. Yeah. How'd you know? Did you lose someone too? Oh, well. I've lost so many people I care about. I've lost count. Children, husbands, lovers. I'm sorry. You must think I'm a real jerk for feeling sorry for myself. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Please, I have cried so many tears I could fill an ocean. But I don't do that much anymore. So how do you make the hurt stop? Who says it ever does? But time, time will dull the pain. And you know what? You'll meet new friends, and they'll help you forget. I'll never forget about her. Of course not. 
But that doesn't mean that you you can just curl up and die. You're still young. You know, in time, you'll meet somebody new. You'll settle down, raise a family, find some sort of contentment. Well, I can't see that. But now it feels like my whole life's over. Don't worry, Pilar. And I've assured my mother that Teresa's learned her lesson. She's never gonna lie to me or anyone else again. And she believed you? Well, after she forced me into this ridiculous bargain, she made me promise that if Teresa ever lied to me again, that I'd break it off with her permanently. But it's, it's not a big thing because I, I know Teresa will never be anything but honest with me. Hmm. Yes. Well, Ethan, I, I, I better get these to your mother. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna make a few more phone calls. I've gotta find someone who can stop this wedding. I've got to find Ethan and convince him to elope before Ivy tells everyone Julie and I are married. I will not let her run off with Ethan and ruin his life. I won't. <laughs> I can't let my son marry that lying bitch! Oh. 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 oh, Jessica, you startled me. I was, um, I was just trying out some new equipment. I just came to get your laundry. Right, yes, of course. Um, oh, well, I have some towels in the bathroom, so uh, I'll be right back. put one foot in front of the other when you don't even care where you're going. I guess what I meant is that one day you may be going through the motions and then suddenly you'll realize that you're starting to feel things again. <laughs> Number nine, I don't know. I mean, everybody's different. We all grieve in our own separate ways. What worked for me might not work for you. But I can tell you this. Never say never about falling in love again. See, we're all born with this instinct to survive. And none of us is meant to go through this life alone. So, all right, maybe the woman that you meet, she's nothing like your fiance. But she'll be other things that you care about and need. Am I talking too much? No, oh, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. <laughs> Hey, what was your name again? Oh, Elizabeth. Uh, everybody calls me Liz, though. Liz. No. Talking to you is it's making me feel better. Good. So, you'll come to dinner? Tonight? I don't think so. Okay. Thanks. Why does my mind keep doing this to me, Blaine? Why do I keep thinking about the man who once loved me? I remember him dying in my arms, yet I... Yet... what? Yet I feel as if he's somewhere close by. Somebody! Help me! 
to it. Your daughter happened to it. Oh, she tried to stop me, but she won't. I will not let her hurt Ethan this time. Why are you saying these things? Oh, she crossed the line this time, Pilar. No, oh, she married Julian in Bermuda. Oh my God, you knew. You knew all this time and you never said a word? Mrs. Crane, No, is that... no! Don't you dare ask me to save your lying tramp of a daughter! No, I have a copy of the marriage license and I am gonna show it to everyone! Ethan, I've gotta find Ethan. Crying out loud, what is Teresa doing up there? We have to get her down here to sign those damned annulment papers before the ceremony. my thunder on my big day. Just stop it. Spying? You know, I'm serious. Your camera is pointed right into Tabitha's living room. You know, and I can hear everything that my parents are saying on your headphones. Are you kidding? No, I'm not. I'll be damned. Well, the, uh, Triper must have shifted when you startled me. I was actually taking some pictures of the construction site for your mother. She wanted some before and after photographs of the new house. With the headphones. Ah. Actually, that's an old trick I picked up while um, shooting wildlife long distance in Africa. I find if you can actually hear what you're shooting, take better photographs. I was pointing at the construction noise. I guess that makes sense, yeah. What do you use it for extra motivation? Exactly. You are a bright girl, aren't you? You know, it's it's weird. I don't know whether to be nice to you or just give you the cold shoulder. Well, how about the former? Why are you doing all these nice things for my mom if you know she just wants to annul her marriage to you and stay with my father? I love her. I always have. I couldn't imagine doing anything that would ever hurt her. I don't mean to rush you, but I really should get back to my little shoot. Oh, just in time, Liz. Why don't you tell Diana what a good cook I am when I put my mind to it? <laughs> it's not that, Brian. I just don't have much of an appetite tonight. Oh, well. You're not the only person in this place that doesn't feel like eating tonight. What do you mean? The guy that checked in earlier um, to pick up the boat that you and Brian were working on. Uh, oh, right. The one uh, next door to me. Yeah. Seems he's nursing a broken heart. His fiance died recently, and well, he's having a rough time dealing with it. Poor thing. To lose someone that you love so much. Sounds a lot like what happened to you. Yeah, but I don't know the details of what happened to me. Guess I'm lucky that way. It must be even worse to know how you lost the person you love when you replay it in your mind over and over every day. I have a feeling that's exactly what he's doing in there. Is he gonna come out here for dinner? Well, I asked him, but I wouldn't count on it. I think he wants to be alone with his thoughts tonight. <laughs> he should be around other people. Why don't we invite him to join us? Well, Liz just said that he wants to be alone. Maybe we should just let him be. That's 
because he doesn't know anybody here. You know, I know you went to a lot of trouble to make this dinner, so wouldn't it be nice to share it with someone who's feeling down? Besides, I have a feeling you probably made way too much food. Sure. Whatever you want. You'll join us too, won't you, Liz? Um, that's up to Brian. Yeah, that's fine with me. The more the merrier. Okay. I'll go ask him. Well, you owe me. <laughs> now that we're gonna be having guests joining us, I'll make sure you eat all that food now. I will. I promise. For some reason, I'm starting to get my appetite back. Who is it? It's me, Liz. <sighs> Hi. I know you thought you got rid of me for the night, but I have an <sighs> invitation for you. Dinner with me and a couple of friends. Thanks, but I thought that I told you I'm, I mean, I'm just not up for me. Don't, anyone. don't be so quick to say no. You know, being with other folks might help you take your mind off of things. And besides, didn't anybody ever tell you that it's not healthy to isolate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, besides you, uh, yeah, my, my buddy Hank back home said something like that. See? Come on, listen to him. Both of us can't be wrong. Come on. What are you afraid of? Nobody is going to bite you. And what do you know? You might surprise yourself and have a good time. Mother, mother, please. You're supposed to be getting married today. No, not until I teach this little witch a lesson. How could you? What did you do to my daughter? Did somebody say witch? It's, it's odd. I, I don't recognize a single person here. I, I must say, I swear, I've seen this this rabbi somewhere before. What did you say his name was? Forget about the rabbi, Julian. If I were you, I would stop your future wife from killing your current one. Uh, yes, you have a point. That is enough, Rebecca. Stop. Get If anyone is ruining your wedding, it's you. Now, you just come down this instant. I need you to sign these annulment papers. No, Mr. Harper, there's no time. I've got to find Ethan. Well, Teresa, where are you going? What do you care? It is time for us to get married. As you say, let's get on with it. Aw, <laughs> that's my sweet pookums. Understand, where's the judge? Don't ask. You're telling me that we're going to get married by a miniature rabbi? What is going on here, Julian? Help me, Plar. Help me get downstairs. I've got to stop Ethan from making the biggest mistake of his life. Pilar? Pilar, you have been my friend! I sign your paychecks. You owe me some loyalty. My loyalty, Mrs. Crane, is first and foremost with my family, and that includes my daughter. You're not gonna help me? I'm afraid not. Oh! Mrs. Crane, please, wake up. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll call her doctor. Oh, dear God. Ivy. The pulse is still strong. You're breathing. I'll call Dr. Russell. She fell for it. Now to stop Teresa. Look, it's not that I don't appreciate the invitation, Liz. It's just that 
Well, I'm, I'm not up for it, you know? Didn't your mother ever tell you that we do a lot of things in this life that we're not exactly up for? Yes. But I... All right, all right, fine. If you're not going to do it for yourself, do it for me. I mean, what kind of a reputation am I going to get if I let my guests stay in their room all miserable and depressed? Now you're playing dirty. Ooh, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Liz is pretty good at getting what she wants. At least some of the time. Come on. All right, you win. Just uh, give me a minute to change my shirt, will you? Okay. I promise you, you're making the right decision. right anymore. All I can think about is Sheridan. Are you sure about this getaway? I know how hard it is for you to leave the kids and with this David hey, situation. Hey, you know what? The kids will be just fine. As far as David goes, okay, he will be here when we get back. I just think the important thing is that you and I spend some time alone together after everything that's happened with David and Ivy. And I'm not gonna let anything stop us from going on this trip. Wouldn't be so sure of that, Grace. <laughs> Julian, I'm warning you. If this is some Halloween prank, so you can weasel out of this wedding. Oh, what? Forgive her, Rabbi. She wasn't expecting you. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself, dear. He's a real rabbi, and he's going to marry us today. We couldn't find a judge or a minister on such short notice. But this is absurd. He is licensed in this state to perform wedding ceremonies. Do you want to get married today or not? some yelling and screaming down the hall. Uh, your fiancé tried to ruin my mother's wedding by pushing me down the stairs. Teresa? Yeah. Where is she? I don't know. I'll, <clears throat> I'll be right back. No, no, I have got to find Ethan. Not do the sign in some more the papers. No. Oh, Ethan! Teresa! Oh, I, thank God! Who said you and Rebecca got into it? Oh, never mind that now. We, we have got to get out of here. Where are we going? I will tell you, Mr. Ah! Ethan, I'll sign. These papers must be signed. Harper, no, don't. What's going on here? What papers does Harper want you to sign, Teresa? Uh, Some news that I thought I should share with you. Can it wait? Not really. Grace, uh, my agent called, and one of the national news magazines wants me to do this huge shoot in Australia. I see. So uh, when will you be back? Well, I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, it's going to be quite a while, and actually, I thought that afterwards it might be a good time for me to. Uh, to move on with my life, the way the two of you have been suggesting. Yeah, but, you know, David, you really haven't told me anything about my past yet. I mean, you're the only one who knows the details. Well, no problem. Let's, um, let's have dinner tonight, if that's okay with you, Sam. Actually, um, Sam and I were just going on a trip tonight. No. Well, that's a shame. Um, I guess we've missed our chance. But David, I was really looking forward to you telling me about the early part of my life. Well, it's up to you, Grace. I mean, it's either tonight or... I don't know when. What did he say? 
he accepted your invitation, and he'll be in in a minute. Well, great. Maybe we can cheer him up a bit. I don't know. The guy may not feel like talking. Well, then we'll do all the talking. The important thing is to get him past this tragedy, to get his mind off of it. You know, I can't even imagine what it would be like if I remembered every detail of losing the man I loved. It would be devastating. Well, I thought the point was to cheer him up, not make you feel worse. You're right. I have to be upbeat if we're going to get past any of this sadness with him. And who knows? Maybe someday this man will look back on this dinner and see it as a turning point. See it as the night he began to get over his terrible loss. It's only one thing in the world that I want. No amount of well-meaning people is going to be able to bring it back to me. All I want is you. That's not going to happen. Ethan, don't worry about them. Let's just go, honey, no, right now. not until I get a straight answer. Now, what did Julian and Harper want you to sign? Let me see those papers, Harper. No! I'm sorry, none of, none of your business. Somebody better tell me what's going on between you and my fiance. Now. I'm waiting. Oh, my revenge! <laughs> <laughs> 